Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna show you guys how to deploy folder redirection in Windows Server 2025. Before we get started with this video, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll leave links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. Right, guys the first step is we're going to go ahead and open the server manager we'll run through how to get there again if you're not already in the server manager we can just hit our start key and find it right here or we can search it if we'd like to and again we're just going to go ahead and start right in server manager now once we're in server manager we're going to go down to file and storage services from here we're going to click down to shares and then we're going to see a little button here at the top called tasks with a little drop down arrow let's click that and we're going to enter a new share we're going to go with the smb share quick, which is selected by default. Let's click next here. Let's go to custom path. So we'll check this option here. Now we're going to notice a button towards the bottom right here that says browse. Let's click into our C drive and we'll select new folder. We're going to enter our folder name and then we're going to enter a dollar symbol last. We'll hit enter. Now we can hit select folder. And so now we can see we have custom path selected with that folder that we just created. Once we've verified that, we can hit next. We can leave this alone, keep it as default. Let's also take note of our local path to share and our remote path to share. Moving on, let's go to the next page and we're gonna want to enable access-based enumeration. This displays only the files and folders that a user has permission to access. Basically, if a user does not have read or equivalent permissions, Windows is going to hide that folder from the user's view, which is what we want. We'll go to the next page and we're gonna make an adjustment here as well. Let's click into customize permissions. And there's a little button here called disable inheritance. What we want to do is convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions on this object. Next up under the principal column, we're going to want to remove any users. So if it says users, let's remove that. We'll hit apply and we'll hit okay. Next up, let's go back to tools in the server manager. Here we're going to hit active directory users and computers. Okay, next up, we're going to create a new group. So right clicking on my domain here, you're going to click new and let's hit group. We'll add a group name and let's press okay. Now I'm going to I'm going to make this window smaller and going back into our wizard on this page, which is here, here we can click add and select principal and we can enter the object name here. So all we have to do is type in redirection as that's what we named our folder. So whatever your name is, start to type it, hit check names. We can see the group that we just created. We'll press OK. In this drop down, we want to apply to this folder only. We're also going to want to make some changes in the advanced permissions. In this case, I'm going to allow them to create folder slash append data. I'm going to uncheck traverse folder or execute file. Those are all the adjustments we're going to make. So let's hit OK. And then again, we want to make sure we apply these changes and then let's press OK. All right, let's go to the next page here. And at this point, we can go ahead and hit this create button. OK, and once we've done that, all we have to do is hit close. Now we can see the new security group here under shares again in the server manager file and storage services. Let's right click on this and we'll hit open share. And now at this point, we want to go ahead and copy this share path. So if we just click in in the file explorer like so, there we go. Control C to copy. So we'll have that in our clipboard. OK, so we're done with the server manager for right now. I'll minimize that. Let's go back to Active Directory users and computers. And now instead of a group this time, we're going to create a new OU or organizational unit. So let's click that. We'll give it a name and we'll press OK. We're going to go back to the server manager now. And from here, we're going to go back into tools in the very top right. And let's enter our group policy management. I'm going to resize these just to make this a little bit easier for you guys to see. Now let's go ahead and navigate to the new OU that we just created. So we'll go to domains and go software group policy objects. Here we can see our redirect folder. We're going to right click directly on this and we're going to hit create a GPO in this domain and link it here. We're going to name this redirect folder group policy and we'll press OK. Next, we're going to right click into this and we'll click edit. And we're now on our group policy management editor. I'm going to enlarge this and we're going to start dropping down under user configuration and policies. So widen this out a little bit again here we're going to go to windows settings and folder redirection okay and then here we are in the group policy management editor I'm going to enlarge this and let's drop down the arrows on user configuration then policies and then windows settings and lastly folder redirection we're going to start with desktop so let's right click on this we'll hit properties we're going to select basic configuration redirect everyone's folder to the same location we're going to select create a folder for each user under the root path and if you remember from our clipboard we already have the root path copied and so we're going to paste that lastly in settings we want to check redirect the folder back to the local user profile when the 
policy is removed. Let's hit apply. We'll hit yes and we'll hit OK. We're going to do the same thing on documents. So right click properties, change this drop down to basic. And then this option we want to say create a folder for each user under the root path. And then we'll paste and we'll hit apply. Oh, sorry. Let's actually X out of this or we'll hit no. And I forgot to check the redirect the folder back to the local user profile when the policy is removed. Again, we pasted this share path in the clipboard. We'll hit apply. Yes. And then we'll hit OK. OK, so let's get out of the group policy management editor and let's go back into Active Directory users and computers. I just minimized this earlier and so I've pulled this back up. Now we're going to want to create some new users. So we're going to want to find our organizational unit which is here, right click new and then user. And we'll enter for this user Gabe and the user logon name will be Gabe as well. And I'll hit next. And then let's uncheck this first option and we're gonna check password never expires. And we'll enter our desired password and we'll hit next, we'll hit finish. Let's double click into that user. We'll click member of and we'll click add. We're going to type in the first few letters again. We'll hit check names and we're going to add them to the redirection security group. Let's hit apply and we'll hit OK. I'm going to minimize down this again and let's type in our CMD. We're going to run this as an administrator. So right click run as administrator. We're going to type GP update space slash force and we'll hit enter. All right. And then let's hit exit. And now on my client machine, this is basically my test client machine. I am going to log into other user and log into our domain. So we want to log into the Indigo software domain here. And again, the new user I just created is Gabe. So I can simply just type Gabe along with the password that I just created. And this is going to take a few minutes to set up. So we'll let this load. All right. So we are signed into our domain controller as our new user. Let's open up my file explorer. And as we can see, we have the desktop and the documents folder showing up here. And we can see that these are online and they are ready for sync. So for example, I'm going to create maybe a new folder in here, type this test folder, save that. And let's see what happens back on our server. If we recall in our file explorer, it was this PC, C drive and redirect folder and then Gabe and desktop. And as we can see, we don't actually have access to this folder. And that's because that when we configured this, we configured it so that this user has exclusive permission to this folder. So at this point, we have successfully applied folder redirection for our user Gabe. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. If you have any questions about anything that we went over, feel free to drop those in the comments below and we'll get back with you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, be sure to check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links down below. As our channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas to make. If there's a video you would like to see, we strongly encourage you to let us know in the comments below. Most viewer commented requests get made into actual videos on the channel. And lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support our channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time.